Hello there, everybody, and welcome to an all new episode of the Sun Fall <laughs> Cycle. 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 Air horns. Wait, is that, wait, that was the worst air horn ever. <laughs> What? It was a perfectly good air horn. No, Brits was like, I was like, what is that? <laughs> it sounds like a, a dog. <laughs> it's a fun way to do it, though. So, well, you want accuracy or you want me to enjoy my life? Enjoy your life. <laughs> enjoy your uh, life. As always, joined by this incredible cast of characters, we have the spicy senorita herself <laughs> being called up right now. I'll be back. It's Ross, time. The spicy senorita. Jeff, spoiler <laughs> hunter, leaving the room, Robinson. <laughs> Comfy sweater owner, Britt Wiseman. <laughs> and overworked dungeon daddy, the man himself. <laughs> the man himself. Steven, how's it going, everyone? Jeff literally pulled the biggest Jeff moment. Everyone make an air horn noises, Jeff. Phone call. I have to leave. Ghost. He's a mystery. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh Who, does he work for the mob? I don't know. I Do think you... he does. He no, definitely well, has some kind call. of sleeper like identity. Yeah, he's Jeff yeah. has been activated, and uh, we're gonna see him back in about fifteen minutes, just covered in blood. He's gonna be like, "Where were we?" He's a division agent. I would yeah. love to know more about his backstory. <laughs> Fan fiction, everyone. If you're I watching don't, right now, I don't want to die. You have to feign ignorance. Like, come on. Yeah, tweet tweet it at us. Hashtag the Jeff identity. Uh, we're gonna be watching and waiting. We're gonna work your best tweets into next week's show. So and see how uh, many of you end up missing. Right. Smash that like, follow, subscribe, comment button, and uh, what's up, gamers? Hashtag. <laughs> yeah. Hit that bell. Bang that gong. Slap that gang. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Hit everything like, favorite, subscribe, sub for sub. Uh, follow us on uh, Stitcher. Stitcher. I sub for sub. Different verbs, like just any, like, like uh, I don't know, like, like pet. Like you pet a cat, just like pet that subscribe button, like something, yeah. some other action that indicates interaction with pet? the button. Pet Tweak dongle. That dongle. Um, sneeze Tweak that, that dongle. Poke oh, that button. Fondle that dongle. Fondle that dongle. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Everyone right above. Fondle that dongle. We got to get that clip so Bronze can use it as her new, like, subscriber, uh, like, whatever. <laughs> if you enjoy my content, please be sure to fondle that dongle down below. Time out. What is that? What was that? What was that? was like a, like, you became like, be sure to fondle that b the dongle. Like, what was that voice? You're like, okay, hello, everyone. Well, it's me, Bronze. Ooh. Welcome to the Sunfall Side. I feel like this is your, like, madam, like, brothel madam. <laughs> well, I have wanted to start this new thing. If we hit Whoa. my next sub goal, I'm going to do it. Called, like, BDSMR. <laughs> Where I humiliate people in ASMR. Oh my god! Can you imagine that? Okay. Like with whispers. I totally can. Yeah. That is the best goddamn idea I've ever heard. I. Th this has to be a real thing already. I fucking hate you. You're worthless. Like it, it has ugly. to. You're probably. Tell me how. Tell me how awful I am. <laughs> Let me know how idiots. terrible I am. You're sad. You're gonna make a lot of money with this man. Thing. I'm. Yeah, I'm, that's... I'm gonna be rich. I can't wait to see moderation. Next time y'all see me, I'm gonna be dripping in diamonds. <laughs> Right. Wait, wait, wait. You know. Dri dripping in diamonds yeah. is a, a great, that's a great phrase. I mean, Drip yeah. that diamond. I, I see it. They're like hanging off of that's you. And you oh, yeah, that's yeah. the name of my brand, Dripping in Diamonds BDSMR. And, wow. you know, once we hit the first, like, you know, goal, I'm going to buy a bunch of diamonds and then do the BDSMR, like, in just diamonds, dripping in diamonds. Wow. I have a good business plan. This is going yes, to my yes, this is going to my clip is... show episode. Let's can, we go conversation. Do, can we go can we do a live show in Vegas, Bronze? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, you let's let's you want to join me with special guest Britt Wiseman? Your live Vegas oh, sure. Yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm. We should definitely do that. You yeah. got to get Jeff, Jeff in on this, too. I would. <laughs> Jeff just sits there and takes it as they're like, you're a pathetic man, Jeff. And he's like. <laughs> <laughs> Texting. <laughs> Hold on. I have to take this. <laughs> Hold on. 
<laughs> he comes back 20 minutes later. You guys are still yelling at a chair. And he sits down like, what I miss? He's back in the chair. <laughs> That's Sorry exactly about that. what it would be. That's exactly what it would be. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh yeah. Welcome back, everyone. I'm gonna hand it over to the boss and we're just gonna jump into this. And Jeff has to do a thing, so he'll be back. Super cool. Um, well, you know, before we get started and to give just Jeff just a little bit of time to uh work his way back into the chair. Um what happened last time on the Sun of Cycle? <laughs> I spidered it up, dude. Yeah. Oh my god, that spider is so freaky. Terrifying spider. Boobs. You guys didn't like yeah, it. We ate jello. We climbed that wall. We made it. Saved a birdo. Did we yeah. loot already? Yeah, we did. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, got a bunch yeah. of loot. You got yeah. 87 and a half gold pieces each. You got a bloodstone, a quartz, and a zircon, each worth 50. You had a spell scroll of Cause Fear, which is a level one warlock spell, and a spell scroll of Heroism, which is level one paladin spell, and you got four potions of healing. Wow. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. And, and it's worth hurt. noting that the potions of healing that you got, they are not um, the special crystals from the Gardens of the Moon. So these actually don't, they don't like disappear when you go back to the Gardens of the Moon. They're, they're yours for good. It's kind of cool. Nice. And we have a bird. Yeah. Yes, and you have the yellow bird, the yellow we raven. We haven't, like, talked to him yet. I think he's still sitting on the floor, but we could just take him. Right? Well, with consent. <laughs> with, yeah. If he wants to come with us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll just reach my hand out. Hello. So y'all are all still down inside yeah. the wall. Aren't we? And it's and and what's the light situation, Jesse? You had like a lantern that you had yes, lit and set yes, on the right in the middle, and it does. Yeah. It, uh, it's very very bright, so I yeah, think we're I can good. See. But yeah. I just want to and point out: Did you just approach this bird as a giant evil looking spider? <clears throat> Hello. I guess like, sorry. It's terrifying. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this bird's fine. Who knows? Maybe he's into the spiders. We'll know pretty yeah. quickly whether he's scared or not. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, I think uh, you're you're approaching him in your spider form, and Kara. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he totally like hops away from you and he goes. Okay, I'll back up. Back up, and I'll like point with my arm. Someone else needs to go in case I need to use. Because oh wait, uh, is the web rope still up? Yeah, you you totally you know you used your web and it it's sort of like spread all down so this. We can get back up. Back. Yeah, you can use it to back. climb back up. Okay. Yep. Then I'll just change back. Okay, cool. So Jeff, we're all down in this like tunnel inside the wall, and there's like you know sort of broken flagstones all around us on all sides, and you know the wall ends at this crumbled you know dead end, and at the end of it, you found a whole bunch of uh, treasure, and then this yellow raven. So uh, real quick before we go into like this interaction with this raven, I just want to confirm what the treasure status is specifically which of you is carrying uh each of these things so we had two spell scrolls a warlock spell and a paladin spell and then four potions of healing mm -hmm. uh there was also gems and 350 gold that we never split up as well yeah the, you have uh like each of you gets 87.5 gold mm -hmm. And then the gems, there's three of them, each worth 50. So, you know, whoever wants to carry one or more of those, we should definitely figure that out. But the gems are trivial, so, like, you can carry them um, without taking a slot. But the potions are small, and the scrolls are small. So they do take up slots in your character sheet. So that's what we've got to figure out. Um, are you just going to, like, each of you take one potion? Sure. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah so... Somewhere down on your character sheet, you've probably got, uh, like, in your equipment slots list, you've probably got BLT1, BLT2, BLT3, probably all empty for most people. Yeah. You can delete one of those empties and write healing potion there. Is there four? One for each? Yes, there's one for each. Hmm? That makes then, me want a BLT. Right. <laughs> gotcha. I just want one now. 
Looks like y'all have some pretty uh, satisfactory amounts of coinage on you here. Yes. We're just waiting for the opportunity. range. <clears throat> yeah, mine's actually starting to occupy weight. Mm. Uh, coins in this encumbrance system are have no weight, basically. Okay, coins cool. Are- That's cool. good. We're not using a weight-based encumbrance system. I guess I'll I'll take the the cause fear scroll as well. Cool. That is also a small item. So you can either put it in like your bag slots and you can fit three small items in a bag slot or you can put it in your belt slots like you've just done. So Okay. Perfect. And if it's in your belt slot, you can pull it out whenever you want. And uh, oh. for a scroll that is, is that is your class, you can just cast it basically. It's like one time use though, right? Yeah, it burns up the scroll when you cast it. Yep. Killer. Yeah, it's not a ritual. Because if it was a ritual, I think I could inscribe it, write into it into my your book. book and have it forever. But yeah. So who's taking the three gemstones? Oh, I am. 100%. They're already, cool. already taken. Already, Oops. already done. Ben took him. Already done. Uh, that's a bloodstone, a quartz, and a zircon, each worth fifty gold pieces. And um, sorry, you can actually just create yourself a new equipment slot. E- call it trivial, and then you know, bloodstone, quartz, zircon, fifty GP each. Whatever. Excellent. Bloodstone. Cool. So, and Kara. You, you're approaching this this yellow raven, and it looks terrified of your legitimately terrifying spider form. Uh, and so you decide to change back into mm-hmm. Ankara form? Mm-hmm. Is that the plan? All right, yes. let's grab this. Back to the token layer. And do that. Now we have all four tokens for our wonderful players of the Sunfall Cycle. What? Oh. Oh, we gotta switch to that then. Oh, yep. dang! And they look amazing. Artists look at that. that. So fantastic. Um, how's everybody's like health and resources and everything? Do you want to take a ten minute rest here, or uh, do you feel okay? Ten minute rest. Yeah, uh, that's fine. All right. Cool. So you take 10 minutes, minus one. Um, any of you who are missing HP, which I think is only Armoros, uh, can spend hit dice. Um, Armoros, are you going to pull out rations? Sure. OK. So let's take a look at your equipment. Uh, I guess that consumes the last use of your Dungeoneers pack. So you can uh, make your bag three slot be empty again. And then you can reroll your uh, Hit dice and take the higher of the two. Superiority die back, right? Yeah. Okay, so here's first hit dice. And that's good enough. Killer. No, you know what? Actually, I mean, re roll and then maybe, yeah, get temporary hit points. Well, no, my question is yeah, exactly. I could just spin another, though, anyways, right? Yep. Well, there it is. I'll just do that. Cool. So, did we get a. Okay, so Steven. Mm-hmm. As my familiar, can I call the little main bird? Uh, oh, right. You took find familiar as a ritual for your book. Oh, man. Um, I know it's not like on the list of like sanctioned ones. There is a page for a raven. Yeah. I mean, like it's not like I, I don't know if I have to have an imp or something because that's kind of more traditional. Uh-huh. Not at all. I, I mean, you, you can definitely choose whichever uh, familiar you want. Uh, uh, and I think like just choosing a raven makes sense. Um, I think just with casting the find familiar spell, you're not going to be able to call one of Maine's ravens to you. Mm-hmm. But there's probably something you could do to like build some sort of like familial bond with one of Maine's ravens and then mm-hmm. summon it as your familiar if you like put effort into it. Cool. That's, that's where I'm going with that. I yeah, think. I was thinking of like a weird blood ritual picture of Dorian Gray type of thing because it, it's a it book of shadow spell. 
Yeah. I was thinking like maybe I could draw like a weird over the period of several days, like a weird like picture and then pull it out of the picture every time I want it. Mm. Cause it's supposed to be, I can also only cast it as a ritual. So I have to like take yeah. time during a short rest to do it. But well, so it's something I can work on. Casting so that I have, like I can be the, become friends with one of these Ravens. Yeah. Casting the spell, um, summons your familiar to you and then you have it forever so it's not like you put it away into your book and pull it back out of your book but i love this idea that like you're sketching a picture in your book and that's how you pull out your familiar the first time or something like that i can help you with that I'm yeah very good at sketching we could yeah. work together on it yeah. totally i mean like you've you've got one of main's ravens right in front of you now so is this the thought that's going through your head like yeah well i'm i well it's not this raven i want i liked the other one that was my friend and sat on my head yeah, we bonded and I kind of miss him and I go and visit him every time we go back to the moon, but I would like true. to take him with me on adventures. It's true. Yeah, cool. So like, you know, you, you see this Raven, it reminds you of your, your friend Raven and uh, mm -hmm. plans begin brewing. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. yeah so Ankara, you, you turn back to Ankara form. Um, what do you try to do to like make contact with this bird? Uh, just crouch down and put my hand out, sort of mm -hmm. start slowly scooting over to it. Yeah, <laughs> just scooting out. slowly with your hand reached out to it. Yeah. Wait, as a, a spider? No, no as, as, a, a, as, oh, a, okay. as a like <laughs> as an elf. I was imagining a spider I'm like, scooch. I'm just like walking very slowly close to it. Awesome. With my hand out, is it scary? Um, give me a handle animal check. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's see how um, good you are at reading this, Raven. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Right. Yeah, I think like. Wow, I'm really bad at that for a druid. It watched like your body like <laughs> reform out of this spider. Like it, like a spider arm was reaching out to it, and then it like grew an elf hand at the end of it, and then shrunk back down, and like fangs receded into like bangs <laughs> from the top of your head, and and yeah. <laughs> It was just like a really distressing transformation back okay. into Ankara. And it's just like, it's flapping against the wall shouting, nope, 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 nope. I just immediately stand up and turn around. I'm like, doesn't like me, doesn't like somebody, <laughs> somebody else, doesn't like me, it's scared. It's really scared. I'm gonna leave it alone. And then I just like walk back behind everyone else to make it so maybe the bird can't see me anymore. I'd yeah. probably like flip a coin yeah, and just kind of be like, Shiny? It, it like lands and then looks at you and then says, Shiny. Shiny. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Give me an animal handling roll. Oh, Wrong. God. <laughs> we're, we're all going to fail this. <laughs> it's going to be, oh, yeah, totally. What? Yeah, it's like shiny. And then it like looks down and like pecks the ground. <laughs> Shiny. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't worry. I've got this. Zerk, like, struts up. Hello, friend. Come back with us. We're going to see Daddy. No. <laughs> We're going to no, see Daddy. Daddy. You're coming with us. You no, are coming. No. You. You're coming with us. No. Must not. You're coming. Why? You're coming with us. Danger. Danger. Rock. You are in danger if you don't come with us. <laughs> Give me an animal handling roll. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> is it my turn? <laughs> it absolutely is, Armrose. Yeah. I don't just walk over, it. extend my hand, and I don't even say anything. Do the roll, Jeff. Hit minus two. Oh, no! <laughs> so you walk over, you extend your hand, and this, this bright yellow raven sort of hops towards you. Friend? Friend? Like, you know, wait. It hops forwards. Friend? It hops up into your hand. Friend? And then it, like, launches itself at your bronze cherub mask and, like, pecks at your face. And it says, not friend, not friend! And then it flies away past you. No! <laughs> Is it gone? It's flying down towards the other end of the hallway. Oh my god, guys, we gotta go. Should we run after it? After you. Why would it want to stay here? This place sucks. 
We didn't do a very good job of. Making- it's a dank, sticky, slimy hole. Maybe if we just try again, our rolls will be better. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? Okay, how did this work last time? Did oh, it just sat on my shoulder all the way to the to the brazier, right? Yeah. So it's not enough for. I was gonna say, do you have any charges left on your charm, Sarek? Because my friends isn't gonna last long enough for us to get back to a brazier, but your charm. I would. we died, so I assume it resets, right? My my scepter yep. resets. Yep. However, your scepter is a scepter of charm person. <laughs> but a, the bird can talk, and aren't birds really just sky people? <laughs> just small people. Sky people. I can choose a creature, but we have, like, we don't have time after. Like, I could try to befriend it, and then we'd have to restrain it because it's going to wear off after a minute, which I don't, I don't know about that. Why doesn't it want to go back? Oh, is there anything else down? Can I like do a cursory curse, whatever word? Can I do a search to see if there's anything else down here? Why it would want to stay here? Or is it just yeah, give, a me, uh, give me a perception roll. I will percept. Eh? Um, like, it's not that it wants to stay here because there's something here that it wants, but like, <clears throat> ravens are smart, ravens have personality. This one maybe is a little ornery, and it's just like you haven't convinced it at all that like going with you is a good idea. You're just okay. like coming on a little strong. Yeah. All four of you at once, holding out hands, being a spider, doesn't work. Doesn't work for this one. <laughs> being a spider. I run down towards where the bird is going, and can I put all my gold in a pile on the floor? And then can I roll again, but with advantage because my spider webs are everywhere, so the you might get stuck in them trying to fly. Oh, so like, I so what, what I hear you trying to do is like basically craft a subtle trap. You're yeah. putting down a whole bunch of gold somewhere where you've left like sticky spider strands, hoping like that a friendly bird. trap. Yeah, fr- friend, friend's trap. A friend <laughs> trap. Uh, yeah. You know the normal kind of trap that you do between friends to trap yeah, each other and uh, sure. getting stuck in spider webs. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I'm enjoying this. I think you can find a, a good spot to, okay. to place this. Give me a give me a perception check really quick. Let's just see like how good a spot you can find. Okay. How good a spot exists. I found oh, yeah. the perfect it spot. Like, it was a really great spot, like right in the center down below. Like you sort of like plastered spider webs all over the wall and then like tied it to the floor in the middle. So it doesn't really look like there's spider webs there, but there are. Yeah, and you're just dumping all of your gold there? Yeah, like I have like uh, 236 pieces of gold. I should dump it all out. Cool. Make a note of that. 236. 236 gold. Ankara. Yeah, totally. As the, as the raven hears the sound of gold jangling against the floor, and then you're like scraping it into a pile, I suppose, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it, it sort of like stops and lands on the floor, you know, 10 feet away or whatever, and it turns around and you can see its eyes like glimmering as it, as it looks at this pile of gold. But it's, it like, looks at the gold and then it looks at you and like squints. And then it says, no! And then it looks at the gold and its eyes go wide. I'll give you, you gold hear, if you want. You can hear it muttering to itself, so shiny, so shiny. Yeah, it's really, really shiny. We have lots of shinies. This is some of it. We have more. If you come with us, we'll give you more. We won't hurt you. Yeah. We'll just give yeah. you shinies. Yeah. Um. Give me a deception check. Okay. <laughs> I'm not good at lying. Wow. I need help, guys. Wow. So this 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 raven sort of hops forwards and says, oh, no. "Shinies for me." Yeah. Hi, shinies. Yeah, but you have to come with us first. You back, you back. It like gestures with a wing. I really I... like this bird. I like this bird a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I love ravens so goddamn much. Can I go, can I back away and go around behind it? So I'm like 
near standing away from it, but at the entrance of the cave rather than like back in the cave. So like remember it's it's a it's a like tunnel. two ended cave. Oh, I guess it's not, it's, yeah, it's not like wide. So you can't really like move past it easily. All right, I'll just back up. If you like, I would let you make a stealth roll to try to make this happen, especially because you're distracting this bird with some gold. That's gonna be tricky. That's okay. gonna be tough. Mm, I'll try it. Might as well. Hey. No. Nope. Yeah. I you back start up. inching forwards along the wall, and it squawks and like flaps backwards. It says. No, you back, you back. Rolls. Um, <laughs> getting them all out before the fight. I kind of want to figure out like what its main reservation is. So can I? Oh God, that's long. Can I detect its thoughts? Ooh. Ooh yeah. So you're casting detect thoughts. Yeah, it can't cool. tell unless I probe deeper. But like, yeah, can I get the initial surface thoughts of the creature. Yeah, when you cast a spell. And as your action, you can focus your mind on any one creature that you can see within 30 feet of you. If the creature you choose is an int three or lower or it doesn't speak any language, the creature is unaffected. I'm pretty sure this raven has an int of like five. I was gonna say he's kind of he's got he's speaking. So Yeah, these these are like heightened ravens. You initially learn the surface thoughts of the creature, what is most on its mind in that moment. Yeah, I think I think you hear like the ravens self chatter like um, strangers, strangers in caves, strangers with spiders, spider strangers, strangers want the gold, but many strangers, too many strangers, too many spiders, gold, gold for me, gold for me, gold for me, no, no too many strangers, mm. don't like spider. Okay, okay, and I'll uh, kind of get the party into a huddle. And be like, okay, so here's the deal. Little Raven over there. First of all, Ankara, absolutely terrified of you. So <laughs> probably don't try to barter with it. I think the spider thing really freaked it out. All right. And also it feels crazy outnumbered. Well, yeah, so yeah, maybe we should all leave and one of us should stay here and try to convince the Raven to come along because it's just feeling crowded right now. So many strangers, strangers distracted. Look at all this gold. Oh, gold. So and also gold. he's stealing so much, your gold. <laughs> so much tasty gold. Yes, well, like, gold. Put more gold, gold into gold. stomach. I was trying to make a deal with him. <laughs> Is he eating the gold right now? And you look over behind, like you're all yeah. huddled over at one yeah. end of the tunnel and you like break your huddle and you look and this raven is just like shoveling. Oh my God. <laughs> Can he like not fly away as fast because he's eating all the gold? Is he like a little- I mean, you, you know, you see 236 gold pieces rapidly dwindling as they diminish. Oh my place. God. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> uh, kind of not enough to intimidate it, wa stroll forward. Yeah, gently strolling. Gently stroll forward away from the group. Yeah. So there's not as many strangers. And um gotta get the gold. Gotta get the gold. Yeah, strangers like, coming back. Gotta oh, get it. Yes, we can have tons. Of, <laughs> we have tons more gold where that came from. And in fact, we gave a bunch to your friend. No friends. Only gold. Oh no, I don't know. A little, a little <laughs> green friend of yours that looks quite like you, loves to hang out with a big bird named Maine. It's like it got like one last piece that it's like carrying in its beak and it flips up into the air and then go straight down. Shinies, golds and gems. It just looks at you and then just like belches. It's like the longest, <laughs> longest belch you've ever just. Uh, 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 God, this thing's adorable. I can't be mad. <laughs> oh my god. This place isn't safe for you. There's oozes here. There's griffins and wild animals. We can take you back to your friends. Leaving back now. To Maine. No. And then he no. starts flapping his wings. And he gets about three inches off the ground when the full weight of the gold in his gullet. Got it. And the combined sticky force of the spider web pulls on him and he he quickly exhausts himself and flops back to the ground with a, I grab a chain him mail, and... a chain mail thump. <laughs> when this happens, I just swoop down and grab him and I just say, Well, you're okay, you're coming with us. <laughs> he struggles weakly. He's no, a chonky no. bird. 
put me put put no, down for your own good <laughs> so full no and i also give him like a gentle squeeze <laughs> <laughs> he, he burps in like one gold coin just yeah, like i'm trying to help him ground, like, i'm trying oh. to help him you're gonna have such bad indigestion later oh. okay that was smart Ankara. well we have the bird yeah it only cost us 236 gold pieces they'll come out one way or another it's fine <laughs> I've been walking around with a bunch of gold I don't need, so. You, you squeeze him and he just burps up another gold coin. Yeah. I got you at least two back. Okay. I pick up both of those coins. No, you don't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you know, he, he's like weakly struggling, but you're like just carrying him under one arm or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> this bird is ridiculous. It's a pretty ridiculous bird. Very hungry. Not anymore. Not anymore. Well, I guess we could go kill that griffin. And with the bird, we're going to take the bird with us? Well, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, we have to. It's fine. He's not going anywhere. Look at him. It's fine. I'll stuff him in my bag. It'll be fine. You just got like a really fat crow, like a yellow crow sticking out of your bag. Yeah. Like occasionally burping a gold coin out of your bag behind you that Sarek is you falling. Can yeah, that's just anything you want in there, except the vials that are purple. Don't eat those or you will get very sick or sprout tentacles. I'm not sure which. Or the green vials. Don't eat those. Those tend to be acid. Or the pink vials. Those are a different thing. But you can have anything else you want in there. <laughs> Are you grabbing the coins? Yeah, pressing? every single one of them falls to the ground. I'm like, oh, another one. <laughs> Let's try to kill this creature before Big Bird here burps up all his coins and flies away. Okay. Sounds good. So we just cool. climb out? Yeah. Yeah, because it's like right ahead of us, isn't it? Yeah, totally. Uh, everybody give me an athletics check uh, with advantage. You're aiming for a 10. <laughs> you have advantage so that's 20 is 17 oh, yay. yeah 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 <laughs> yeah 21 no sweat y'all uh very quickly you know make use of the spider webs that giant spider car left behind and uh make your way back into the blazing afternoon red sun of the city of ire and um you know you crawl back up and you're along this uh easternmost wall top that uh, stretches out to um, the barricade camp. And then in the other direction, the direction you're currently facing, you see like the, the wooden uh, sort of like, um, like wooden mobile cover section that y'all were carrying when you fought all of the statues last time, down a ways down the, uh, down the, the wall top to your right. On the Western wall top, you see four um, statues. Uh, they, they seem to like be painted with an odd white coloring or something like that. Like they, they look different from the statues that you have fought already. But straight ahead of you is the wall that leads up to the top of the Barbican itself, which is where you can occasionally see as you watch like the humped back of this flying lizard occasionally peeking up over the ramparts. Okay, so what is our strategy this time? I assume no riding bears into battle. <laughs> I mean, we could, but I yeah. don't know if that's the best. What's our what's our best strategy here? Well, what did we learn last time? Was the fog us? Did we make I, the fog? I cast the fog. And that turned out to be Troublesome. both our saving grace and terrible. Yes. Yes, yeah. and I don't have I'm the fog anymore, fog. so it's not an option for us to even consider. So, um, Almoros? I have angle, which I could cast. Like, oh, yeah, that's a good strategy. And we could try and catch it and entangle and then kill it with, like, longer distance. Mm. What are the, yeah, what are the rules with entangle that you have? Can you, like, yeah, throw me... it down and then from far away and then we go in? I think once you're in them, they entangle you. Yeah, go ahead and click it. So you can cast it up to 90 feet away from you, and then yeah. it uh, creates a 20-foot square. 
Oh, a creature in the area when you cast the spell must succeed on a strength. Um, it doesn't say anything about walking on it after. So, Stephen, are we allowed to cast it and then walk on top of it? Mm-hmm. Hmm. For the duration, these plants turn the ground in the area into difficult terrain. So, I guess so you can walk on it, and you don't you don't risk getting grabbed or anything like that. It's just that it creates difficult terrain. Only creatures in the area when you cast it risk getting grabbed. I think it's worth it. It's worth a try if, while it's on the ground to grab yeah. it. Yeah. You guys want to do that? Yeah. yeah, I think it's a good idea. Okay. Um, we send in our buster and he goes in and punches stuff up. It's a concentration for one minute anyway, so if it doesn't work, I'll just make it go away. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. Okay, so the idea is that we'll cast Entangle when it's on the ground. So we need mm -hmm. to make sure it's on the ground when I cast it. Yeah. Cast it. Hopefully it does not roll. A How do we lure it down so that <clears throat> it, it is, we don't get caught in it? It's down at the moment, right? Because you said we saw its back, which means that it's like we yeah. saw it flying. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not flying right now. You can see its back occasionally peeking up over the edge of the wall. So we should get it now while it doesn't see us. And then we go in. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, what I can do is while I'm casting Entangle, I'll just shoot arrows at it while that's going on, because I can't really cast anything else um, concentration-wise. So I'll do that. So I'll plan to cast it and shoot arrows. What are you guys doing? You're going to wait till I cast it and then run in and try and just kill I'm going to shoot arrows, too. That's all I have. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I've got I imagine spells. Amros will run in and, like, do his thing, and then we'll do our things. And we'll win. The end. Is, this the, is this the Wyvern we're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Do we have any way to buff up? Like it, it basically poisons me and I just die. So. Oh, that's right. If there's any way to make that. All I'll do is get in its face and then just try to not get hit, basically. Let me see. Hold on. I forgot about the poison. Do we have any? Hmm. Do you remember what was the thing that poisoned you? It's bite. What's your AC right now, Jack? Very unpleasant. I am. If you had to put a number to it, it'd be like 19. Yeah, okay. but you know, on a scale of 1 to 24, it's approximately 19. <laughs> um, do we have anything to. No, never mind. I mean, I have Cure Wounds and Healing Word. So like I can try to use those on you. Little healing word would help, but again, yeah, that's not like fixing the poison. I don't have anything against poison. Can you transform into anything that's poison resistant? Uh, I'm not sure. Let me look and see. If I... Is there any way to, to think. make it harder to hit, perhaps, or anything like that? When he looks at you, bronze. Well, how we defeated it last time was I was successfully able to do dissonant whispers twice and it wasted its turns running away from you. That's how it happened. Can I ask a question then? If it's entangled and you whisper mm -hmm. to it and it attempts to run, will it waste its turn attempting to run without actually going anywhere? So like the response to dissonant whispers is immediate. It immediately moves up to its movement speed away from you. If it's entangled, like if it's restrained, it will not move away. It'll try, but it like won't waste a turn. And oh, it won't okay, actually... okay, all right. Yeah. <clears throat> so basically, the way it worked out was it never got a chance. I think outside of the first attack, it never got a chance to hit Armoros because I kept hitting it with dissonant whispers. So, like basically, the way it went is Armoros would hit it, you would hit it, I would hit it with dissonant whispers. It would move away. You both get attacks of opportunity, and it would waste its turn coming back. But we can't, so we could do that again. Just move so fast that I don't think it would waste its turn. It would just come back. We're also two levels higher. Uh, that's true. Higher. We are. It's, it's going to be better. Hmm. I feel like the poison just, it sucks that it exists, but I don't know how we deal with it other than just like not get hit. I don't know. 
Because if it takes off, then... Well, I mean, if it's flying, it can't... I guess it can still bite you. I don't know. I don't know the rules of flight bite. Uh, flight bite. Flight, flight, and bite. Yeah. Hmm. We got this. Yeah, let's try the entangle. Let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any animals that I see that I can just turn into with poison resistance. Um, okay. So we're yeah. up there, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Well, so like there, right? so as you can... as you walk forwards along the wall, <clears throat> let's see. Um Yeah. Uh let me drag y'all over here. Car map. As you oh. walk forwards along the wall. You get to the point where the wall rises 20 feet. It's just a sheer wall. There's no, you know, ladder. There's no stairs. There's nothing. It's just a drop or a, you know, a straight wall up to the top of the Barbican. And right around over here is where you can occasionally catch glimpses of the humped back of the wyvern. But remember, y'all are 20 feet below. Oh. Oh. Well, can you... There's a challenge to overcome before you get there. Can we... Oh, 20 feet. Mm. Can we, like, stack on top of each other and give her a lift <gasps> to get to the top so that she can cast while on our shoulders so that we don't have to, like, actually get up there and then we can all go up once it's entangled? I would uh, let you try. <laughs> yeah, because that's 20... Yeah, I, I would absolutely probably let you try. It'd probably only like... need to like stand on top of two people, right? Sure. Yeah, so, like if it's like Armoros, and then I don't know someone else strong. Uh, I have. Uh... Well, you're like a ten now, right, Armoro? Uh, Sarek? I yeah, uh, I have zero exactly instead of negative one. I have zero strength now. So think about yeah, it. Yeah, I have a thirteen. She's got a plus one. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's you guys then. You're the strong ones. I think you guys should do this. I really think you should. <laughs> I think this is a really bad idea. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, so then how do we get up there? So I could potentially um, try to cast Entangle from down here because the range is super long. Is that allowed, Steven? If I remember what the space is since we've already been up there. Yeah, like the the weird thing is its range is 90 feet and you cast it originating with it like you 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 create a square 20 foot on each side um starting from a point within range. Yeah. But uh I don't know if you need to see the point. That's the it interesting say thing. Say that. Hey. <laughs> Because, guys, what I was thinking, I could, if I need to, like, I could cast this concentration spell and then just turn into a spider again and climb up and, like, weave another rope for us. Or we could lure it down here. The we could try to do that. Yeah. Like, Armoros has a crossbow. Jesse has, you know, a bow. Do we have rope? <laughs> we could you. just try impaling it and, like, pulling it down. Do we have a strike? Well, uh, a wyvern we're going to pull down? We need to lure it down here instead of fighting it on its turf, you know? It'd be better if we, like, pulled it down here or, like, drew its aggro into a trap that wings? we set. Steven? Yes, Jeff? Do wyverns have wings? Yes, they do. I think best not to invite it to the possibility of having a height advantage on us. That's kind of what I was thinking. Oh. But I don't know. But we could always drop back down to the hole for cover. That is uh, dropping into a hole. <laughs> uh, just so y'all know, uh, apparently Chris Crawford himself has clarified you don't need line of sight. <laughs> oh, to thanks, Chris. Okay, well, then that works. Then that, so how we'll are we getting up plan. there, though? Better than mine. I can cast it, but then how are we getting up there? Spider? Is that what we're doing? Sure. We're gonna spider on up. Spider all right. On. All right. Um sure. cool. Then uh yeah, you guys ready? Let's do that. Let's do yeah. it. 
Let's I it. suck at climbing, but I'll do my best, girl. You've got spider webs behind you. Spider webs, spider webs. Get yeah. on your hands and they don't come off. <laughs> so I'll cast Entangle up top. Okay. Um, and then I'll turn into a spider and start climbing and weaving a, to climb up for everyone. Cool. Uh, everybody else, Sarek, uh, Aya, Armoros, tell me about like your equipment situation. What do you have in your hands? What are you ready to do? Like... What's the what's the status? Because if you have like weapons in your hands, you're gonna have to put them away to climb. But you know, tell me your your preparatory status. I have nothing in my hands. I have nothing got, in my hands. Like my gold skull hanging off my belt. Yeah. But I don't really have anything in my hands, so I just have my focus, I guess. But it's like easy to access, kind of. Yeah, totally. I mean, like your your weapons are also easy to access. You've got them like strapped to your side or wherever mm -hmm. you usually draw them from. Mm -hmm. Cool. Armoros, same. Shield and sword on back and flail at the hip type of thing. Just climb up and then when I get up there, shield cool. and flail in front. All right, Ankara. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and roll. Um, actually, uh, first of all, everybody roll stealth with advantage. Um, you're not like making a ton of noise or anything like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the second highest result from the group. Currently looking like a 20. Um, to determine whether or not this thing even knows you're there. Yeah, totally. So you got a 20 versus the Wyvern's passive perception of 14. So it has no idea that you're there. Um, and then, and Kara, you know, what does it look like when you cast Entangle? Um, I guess I've never really cast it from out of range. So I'm kind of like on my tippy toes, like trying to see. And I'm just like, Good go. And uh, I'm I'm hoping that the what happens is we kind of hear the vines up top. Oh yeah. And hear the wyvern like. <laughs> yeah. There's <laughs> like this. Some of them kind of like crawl, like they quickly like come over the side of the wall and then stop. So we see that they've like kind of taken over. Yeah, you hear this burst of you know growth erupt from the top of the wall. Would you uh, select a draw shape tool and draw a 20 foot by 20 foot square wherever you want to place these vines? And this little thing is the wyvern guy, right? Little thing. That little thing is uh, <laughs> where you remember the dead body as being. Oh, we don't know where the wyvern is? Not specifically. Well, you kind of know from its, from its back though, right? Yeah. Going up and down? Give me a perception roll, Ankara. Oh, yeah. Right. I mean, you you think it's generally hanging out close to the body. OK. And I'll give us like a little bit of space to come up here. So. And a 20 foot square is a four by four, yeah. four squares by four squares. So it's basically that. Right. Ah. Cool. You get it. Are you, are you putting it like? Here? Like up here. So it includes the top row with the body in it and then the three below that. Or the Got yeah. It. So like there. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. So you you cast this and then immediately you hear the wyvern howl to the sky and you feel like the ramparts beneath you shake as this creature thunders its roar of anger. It tries to make a strength saving throw, or it will be restrained. Oh, hey. it fails. Nice. So you hear this thing like roar in anger, and then it's like the, the tone of its voice rises higher as it realizes it's stuck. Um, everybody else gets to go before Ankara gets to go. So everybody roll initiative. This is like your surprise round, basically. Wyvern, oh, super cool. So let's see. Um, we're still waiting on Aya. Looks like nope, no. Aya's like... got a twenty. What happened to your token? That's she fine. didn't click on her token. Probably. Uh, wow. Didn't even uh, click on the token. token. You're right. I didn't. Now that I'm thinking about it, I was like, why didn't it work? I don't. Uh, know. Cool. So, and Kara casts her entangle. 
and then the wyvern tries to break out. It fails. It's entangled. And then Armros, you get to act. What do you do? Uh, walk up in front of it, and this is the bonus round. You said. So, like again, you're still down at the bottom of of this this cliff down here, right? Yeah, I just single foot jump it, just like one. Okay, break. cool. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Give me an athletics roll, uh, Armros. Yeah, you know, like I think maybe you you had an instinct to like leap your way up, and actually, uh, you're able to climb just a little way up it. Do you want to like continue trying to climb, or are you going to wait for Ankara and then climb the the spider web? That's what we get for our bonus round. Is she just shoots her little web down? Well, so like remember the way that this is happening is she shoots the web, and then the plan was then on her next turn she turns into a spider, and then she runs up the thing. Oh wait, Ankara turning into a spider is a bonus wait. action for you, right? Yeah. Oh well, let's let you do that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Sorry, that's what I thought was happening. I thought yeah, totally. like the whole Sorry. thing is casting an entangle and then turning to a spider and climbing. Right. I, I forgot that because you're a druid of the moon, mm -hmm. right? That turning into a spider is a bonus action. Okay, so you cast entangle and then you turn into a spider. Let me pull our dear friend, the giant spider car out. Oh God. Bigger. It's a little gianter than is necessary. Hello. We only need giant spider car to be this big. And you have full hit points, 26. There we go. Pulling car over here. Here's giant spider car. So um, obviously, as a giant spider, you can climb freely and you have a movement, you have a speed of 30 feet. So yeah, you can just walk up the wall um, and you can like I spray and web behind you as that? you go. Uh, yeah. Cool, yep. So you can get all the 20 feet up the wall, and then you can move an additional 10 feet. Uh, okay. Which is basically going to put you either here, here, or here. Um, Actually, I will... here or here, because moving that here looks costs. Good. Yeah, just uh, one over, leaving that little space for them to get up. Yeah, cool. All right, awesome. So you run up the wall, and you leave spider goo behind you. And then, Armros, now it's your turn. And I'm not going to make you roll athletics again. Your athletics check of 15 is totally great. Um, you basically like begin leaping your way up the wall. It's going to take you double movement because you climb half as fast as you normally move, even with the spider web. The spider web just makes climbing easier, not faster. Um, so with the double move, you uh, spend 40 feet out of your 60 feet of movement. So you have another 20 feet as soon as you get to the top of the wall that you can spend. For the bonus round. Yeah, so this is like, the thing is surprised. You all get to act before it does. Um, and yeah. Um, I guess I just get up there and I don't get an action. You say I just get 20 feet of movement, right? Uh, because of needing to climb, requiring a double move, you had to move and then dash in order to move all the way up the wall, basically. Okay. So yeah. Then I will take the appropriate amount of movement to be 29 feet away from him, which then I have 30 feet of movement towards him, I guess, right? Yeah, totally. Let's let's see. I'll, uh, I think the furthest you can get is basically here. Sure. So if you just grab your token and slot yourself in that spot, then we'll be all set. Sarek, you're next. What do you do? Uh, I'm going to climb up and um, attempt to position myself behind the giant spider. Cool. Give me an athletics check with advantage, of course. You're aiming for a 10. Sure, sure. Double ones. Ugh. Athletics. 21 is fine. You make your way up. You've got 10 feet of movement at the top, so you could be one square further if you want. Leave a little room for Aya. All right. Just like that. Yeah. And then Aya... It's your mm -hmm. turn. What do you okay. do? Okay, I'll move up as well. Go ahead and give me that roll. Yeah, Barely. no sweat. So you're able to move basically right here. Okay. Oh, I have to move, right. Boom. Awesome. So a creature in the area, a creature restrained by the plants can use its action to make a strength check against your spell save DC on a success it frees itself. It's other actions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, cool, yes. Right, that's, yep, yeah, totally. 
Okay, well, it's pretty stuck, so it's going to try to make a strength saving throw. What's your spell save DC in Kara at 13? And Kara. What are you? Wait, I thought it was making a strength saving throw. Yeah, but what's your spell save DC? Oh, it's 13. Cool. That's Sorry, what I, thought. I thought you. Yeah. Lucky to get an answer this time. Sorry. Yeah. So this this creature <laughs> like humps its back and just like thrusts itself upwards, like using its its strong uh-huh. back legs humps and back wings, and thrust. push itself up off the ground, and you hear this terrible tearing, ripping, rending sound as all of these vines just snap well. and break, and the creature launches itself into the air screaming 80 feet into the sky. And Kara, it's your turn. Uh, it went straight up. It went straight up? Yep. What do I do, guys? Um, how far up? 80 feet. 80 feet? Ooh. 80 feet. Can't do anything with 80 feet. Can you web it like Spider-Man? My web range is 60 I think, feet. I think it moves here. Jump and web? Yeah. Well, and she'd have to recover her web. Yeah. Yeah. Roll a roll a d6 to see if you recover your web. Okay. You can do it. Yeah, you do. Oh, sweet. Cool. Okay, so that helps. Your spinnerets are ready. Okay. Um, yeah, can you like? Know, guys. You're can you're giant, jump? right? And- uh, yeah. Can you like? <laughs> Push off and jump backwards and put your like spider butt I, in the air and shoot out I, webs at it and then like grab. Can I it do that, his... Steven? Can I like jump and shoot? Can I jump twenty so, feet? <laughs> uh, I don't think that you can. Okay. There's nothing specific here about this spider's uh, incredible jumping capabilities, even though it can <laughs> climb freely. Um, your web's maximum range is sixty feet, and that's with disadvantage. So. Mm-hmm. I think at the moment for a spider, this thing right. is outside of your range. Okay. Well, then I guess I will wait. Okay. Hold Are you gonna take like the defensive action here yeah, while you're waiting? Say, like hold action until it comes back. Oh yeah. yeah. Tell me, are you are you trying to hold action? Yeah, because that just means I wait and don't do anything until it's triggered, right? Yeah. So you're using the ready action. So what yeah. action will you take, and what's the trigger you're waiting for? Uh, I think I'll do web and as soon as it's within range. Okay, cool. Armoros, what are you doing? Hmm. I guess I get up in its face. I mean, it's 80 feet up in the air. Nice. But I'm gonna just jump please tell me how. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a one leg jumps, my right leg this time. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, take the defensive stance. Cool, yeah. And you've got some temporary HP, right? One, Stephen. Cool, yeah. Juan. Juan. Awesome. Defensive stance for Armos. Sarek, what do you do? You probably have range on this thing, right? Uh, I do. I want to use insightful fighting. Oh, yeah. If I may. You certainly may. Uh, Yeah. Let's wisdom check this fool. See if I can get my sneak attacks. Wisdom check. Insight, uh, right? Yeah, it's perception. I can. I think that's what it is. It's uh, perception insight. Or insight. No, it's insight. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're insight. Right. You're right, but I'll take somehow. It. I don't think he's gonna make this. Oh, hey. look at that! You got it. You got that insightful yeah. fighting. So, like, as he's flying up in the air, pumping his powerful wings, you see like the thinness of the membranes and like the major arteries pumping blood through his neck and along his wings, and like you know that weak, soft spot under the tail as it like curves out behind his back, and you know just like all sorts of detailed information about where you can strike this thing for the greatest effectiveness. Uh, that's a bonus action, so then you can take your action to attack. Yo, let's shoot this fool. Give him the old short bow. Be-yop. And he's within your range, so that's a 13. Let's see. That hits. Yo. Roll your nice. Plus your sneak attack damage. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. 18. 
Yeah, a nice opening salvo as your arrow finds one of those pulsing veins that you identified earlier and just burrows Remember me, into you the son flesh. of a bitch, I'm back. It, it <laughs> shrieks across the sky. Aya, what do you do? Um, I'm going to hit it with the good old wombo combo, smack oh. it with a hex and then an eldritch blast. Nice. Yeah. Wombo yeah. combo. Yeah. Chad and she classic my bread and butter. So. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Uh, cast your hex because obviously that still sticks on him. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. Well, it, it just, I think it just gets cast. Yeah. But like put it in chat and then tell oh. me what, uh, what ability check. Right. You're reducing. Um, let's do strength. Okay. Yeah. S strength score is reduced. Very nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Concentration up to an hour. Not bad. Cool. Yeah. It's wyvern time. <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever said that in that way. <laughs> It's wild. Pinwheeling time. through the air as it dive bombs down towards Sarek. How close to the ground is it, Steven? Sarek. Well, it enters <laughs> within that 60 foot range. Uh, and you're going to fire your web at it, right? Yeah. Go ahead and, and cast. Save me. Please save me. Now, this is with disadvantage at 60 feet. Oh, and it's. So ah. Your web flies wide, no! and its dive takes it too quickly out of the way. Guys, I should have waited for 30. I was too eager. Sorry, Sark. Goodbye, okay. friends. Goodbye. Sark, it, it slams into you, and what, what can it do? What are the things it can do? Does it slam into me, though? I have yet to see a roll confirming said slam. Uh, let us find out if it confirms. Oh, yeah. yeah Slamming all right. has occurred. Slammed. You well, take 13 slashing slam. damage as its hind claws rake across your chest. You know, two levels ago, that would have been a problem, but I'm okay. Nice. And then its stinger whips out in your direction. Whips. Tempted fate with that comment. <laughs> Ooh. It deals you 11 piercing damage, and I then have... please make a DC 15. But I have an armor fate. class of 15, though, right? I should. I can... Oh, do you? I do. Well, hang on. Time out now. Second. I forgot I had 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, 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 okay. You upgraded oh, your armor. You only took the stinger damage. You only took 11 piercing, not 13 slashing. Yo. But you still got to make save for some poison. That's fine. What do I roll for that? Constitution saving throw. Yeah. Shit, this is easy. <laughs> that is not good, Sarek. That is not what we consider a good roll in this <laughs> here saving throw situation. So you take 23 poison damage. No! Into the west. This is not going <laughs> Fade away. What can you see? Amoros, I don't feel so good. <laughs> I am super dead. <laughs> now, I don't feel so that didn't actually straight up kill you, did it? Uh, I mean, I am I went from 21. I only had 21 HP, so I mean... I'm mega dead. Yeah, but it has to. You have to reach negative your hit points in order to be dead. So you're not dead. You're just unconscious. So go ahead and you know set your HP down to zero. Here's where the wyvern is. It's down on the ground next to all of you. And then Kara, it is your turn. Uh, yeah, let's bite it, man. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, that 12 is not quite enough. Are you going to do anything else, uh, Ankara? Um, recharge your web. Yeah, I'll recharge. Yeah, roll to web. recharge. 26. Oh, God. oh, my God. I can't believe I just let you die like that. Oh hey, you got your web back. Hey. <laughs> awesome. Armoros, this thing just slammed into the ground and just decimated Sarek, but it's right next to you. What do you do? I punch it the face. Excellent. Ooh. Ooh. Hang on. Yeah. What? I, I think, like, it's Can just savaging Sarek. Attack, which is what I meant to do, but I just forget that you could do that first. Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'll let you do that. Yes. Give yeah, fainting attack. Again, please. So I, yes. I'll expend a superior die, which then gives advantage on this. Yes. Steven's really nice. That means I crit. That means you crit. 
And then it also means you double the superiority dice when you roll. Yeah. So 20. 20 plus, plus 2d8. Yeah. So 31. 31. Jesus. Goodness. Yeah, you your flail just like smashes into this thing's side, and you like see ribs breaking as you're doing this, and it like thrashes onto its back and flips back onto its onto its forelegs, and then it looks at you and it like opens its mouth and roars in your direction. And just like the stench of carrion rolls over you as it screams in your face. Sorry, please make Wait, a death save. I can action surge. Oh yeah, you can. So I will action surge, um, but I, we determined I don't get a bonus action with this, right? Correct. Yeah, you get another full action, but you don't retain, you don't get a new bonus action as well. Assuming that I aggro the shit out of it, then I will take defensive stance. With the okay, aggro. cool. Yeah, total. Nice, Sarek. Death saving throw, please. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Woohoo. Aya, this thing is right next to you as well. Mm -hmm. What do you do in response to this wyvern thrashing around? It's staring at Armrose, yeah. like bearing down on him. Yeah. Well, I don't like when things are that close to me and I don't have a lot of space to like really back up. So I'm probably going to use dissonant whispers on it. Mm -hmm. and um, have it echo as like uh, the, the sound of its ribs crunching over and over again. So it has to yeah, remember that trauma. That's pretty dissonant. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Right, so it goes there. Boom. Dissonant whispers, DC 13 wisdom saving throw. Wyverns, uh, surprisingly wise. Wow, strange. Really? Oh. Not that wise though. It fails, it takes 13 psychic damage, and then it moves as far away from you as its speed will allow. So, I get a reaction attack, right? Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. So um, Bronze, Ankara, and Armoros, all three of you can take attacks of opportunity. 12 piercing. No uh, dice from Ankara. Damn, Armoros, 12 piercing damage, minus 12. Worst rolls today. Mine has to be like a melee attack, though, right? Because I can't yes. cast two spells. Yeah, you've got to like stab it with a dagger. Oh, did the, um, Dissonant Whispers uh, activate Hex? So Hex explicitly says... An attack, um, right? When you hit it with an attack. Yeah, okay. Um, and so like your, um, your Eldritch Blast is a ranged spell attack, and mm. your dagger will be a melee attack. So okay. You hit it, we'll All right. It. So I'll... 2019 where everything is an attack, am I right? <laughs> I'll uh, pull a, a knife out of my boot and just chuck it at it. Cool. Why'd you pull a Oof. knife out of your boot? Not quite. So it, it flies 80 feet away. And then, hmm, what's it going to do here? I'm at its death. Take an athletic check. <laughs> I'm at its death. Yeah, I think it, it flies 80 feet away because it's running from dissonant whispers. And then it it flies back, just like careening in your direction, Aya. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, yeah. Not the guy that punched it really hard in the side of the ribs, huh? I wonder... What's its intelligence? Because you know, it seems not only wise, but pretty damn smart. <laughs> well, a very emotional wyvern, I would say. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fair. I think it, it's fair to say it sees Armoros as a greater threat right now. Oh, totally. It flies over to you, Armoros, right here across the wall. Far, I guess. And then it attacks you, striking at you with its claws, missing you entirely, and yeah, then lashing out at get you. Get to the one I care about! Lashing out at you with the stinger! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> it's him! It Let's misses. Yeah, you take the defensive stance. Lane, where Jeff took a action surge for just absolutely. Week. Yeah, so I I think there's like a moment where the stinger is like headed for your heart, and you have like a flashback to the last time you just lay there dead the whole time while your party took this thing out. You bring your shield up at the last moment, and the stinger just like punches through, and you can see it like dripping corrosive venom, uh, like punched through your shield, and then it pulls the stinger free, and then it flies away. Hmm. And uh, you have already spent your attack of opportunity. Yeah. So you this can't is the same battle round, right? 
Yep, yep, yep. So cool. And Kara, your turn. It's 80 feet away again? Yep. All right. This time I'm going to ready my action for 30 feet of range with my web. All right. All right. I think that's pretty smart. Armoros? If entangled midair, does it fall down to its death, presumably? Uh, I think entangle has to be cast on a surface because it's like plants grow from the surface. Grab onto surface whatever. Surface body, Steven. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I hold action defense again, but I continue to yell and shout out and bang my shield. Okay, so you're taking the defensive stance. Yes, sir. Cool. Sarek, roll a death saving throw for me. Uh, Sarek quietly dies behind us. Oh, oh shit! Oh! It finally happened! What, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what? He like stands up. He's like, oh, "I'm alive!" <laughs> <laughs> That's oh amazing. God. Finally. All right. All right. I'm back, baby. Do I have so, one HP? We've got like 45 minutes left in the show. Maybe, maybe 40 or so. I think we should take a five minute break to let everybody. Stress I'm actually them. okay on time, by the way. So the go thing to the bathroom. Back further. Do whatever you need, and then uh, let's come back in five minutes and see what happens over the course of the rest of this fight. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. I'm in it now, son. We'll be back. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We are back. Oh, my goodness. I am revived. Let's do this. <laughs> Yeah, so I realized that we didn't actually say the result of your roll, Jesse, which was a natural 20 which for the first time in the Sunfall Cycle, at last, has happened. And when it happens, the downed character pops back to life with one hit point and can re-enter the fact. It is exactly like professional wrestling. You had me yes. pinned. You had you, oh, I was in a hold. And everyone thought I was done. And then one hand came up like, oh, and I just exactly. rose up. Oh, my God. I'm like the Undertaker. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm ready. Awesome. So that was your action. Do you want to move? Uh no um can I do some sort of prepared thing where basically I just want to like stare it down, be like, I'm back, baby. And I uh, wanna so, like, get um, ready to get like him. Chat also pointed out I couldn't move it 80 feet attack and then move 80 feet. So it was a 40 foot move to Armrose and then a 40 foot move away. So it's actually like 50 feet away from you right now, Sarek. Uh-huh. Um and like, are you asked? Can you like intimidate or something like that? I, I don't think I can intimidate. <laughs> I don't think it's in my being to intimidate anyone. However, okay. I want to like. Uh, I, I thought he was too far away, but if he's if he's close, I want to shoot his ass. Use your. I, you should use your healing crystal too. Uh yeah, actually, can I do that instead? Good, good, good <laughs> brain. Good job. Let me let me like death one ninety seven. <laughs> let me just look up this up. I want to know if a death saving throw is an action. Don't worry. One ninety seven. It isn't in pro wrestling. It gets you back up, and you you gain a second win that's so powerful you win every time. Whenever you start your turn, you must make Brother, a special saving throw. I'm back now. And I'm gonna get you, Hogan. <laughs> he was my favorite. He was my favorite. To watch and to play. I loved Undertaker. Undertaker was so good. Undertaker. My dad took us to Cow Palace when I was a kid to oh see God. it live, and it was like one of the most memorable experiences of my childhood. I'll be real. Going to a wrestling event live is like a real joy. It's very fun. It shouldn't be nearly as fun as it is, but it, for some reason, is great. It's always great. Oh my God! Sting. All right, Jesse. Yes, sorry. Uh, I, uh, I'm I'm judging this as uh, there's nothing in the rules that suggests that a death saving throw takes an action. So actually, I'm gonna let you. Uh, I'm gonna let you take your full turn. And I come back and I blop him. All right, so I'm gonna. I assume I need to insightful fighting again. Nope. Well, it, it's not like a concentration thing, right? You just get it for a minute. It says right? it lasts one minute, but I also died. So I don't know what the rules are with that. I mean, like, you're still you. You still have your knowledge. You still have the insight that you gained into the creature. All right, baby. Let's do it then. Yeah. Okay. So great. you use half of your movement to stand up. Mm -hmm. And then you just fling out an air. 
Yeah, uh, it's very much like at the end of uh, Back to the Future where he pops up and then starts playing very well. It's exact yeah. same thing. I pop straight up and fire off a shot. Bop! And I get his ass! Nailed him! Bop! Uh, get him! Roll it! Bop! Get him! Okay, and there is kind of... 12 an, damage is better than nothing. Yeah. Earth Angel! Earth Angel! I'm back. Let's do this. All right, I, uh, against all odds, you saw Sarek just pop up as if nothing had happened and fire off an arrow at this wyvern. It's looking bad. What do you do? It's um, about 50 feet away from you. Okay. Well, I believe I've used both of my spell slots, so I'm just going to hit it with an Aldrich Blast. Makes sense. Boom. Nailed it. <laughs> that does hex. And you get the hex. I like how my hex Four. did as much as my. <laughs> right. All right, it's wyvern time, baby. God damn it! Wyvern time. <laughs> Armoros, Sarak, and Aya, would all three of you please make intimidation rolls? Intimidation rolls. Oh, he saw my ass. It was like, oh damn! Is that the Undertaker? Ooh, yeah. okay. Bong. So, Sarek, you see this thing's eyes burning as it flies directly towards you. And you can see the, the fury, how badly it wants to kill you. And then it swerves to your side and it punches out its claws uh, in your direction. But it's within 30 feet now, so that triggers my web action? Yes, it does. Ugh. Yeah, your web flies wide. It like ducks in the air, guys. Oh. diving oh, under your fan. web and then slashing at at Sarek with its claws. Missing. Oh, I don't even move. Oh. I don't even move. I just stand there looking at it. I'm like, <laughs> boom! The Undertaker music playing in the back. Boom! And I'm just invincible. And then it flips around and flies away as quickly as possible. But as it is leaving, Aya, its stinger lashes out in your direction. What's your AC? Nah, that hits. Oh, no! 14 piercing damage, oh. and please make a DC 15 constitution saving throw. You can do it. Nope. Oh, can't. no! I'm dead. <laughs> oh, man. Plus yeah. 17 more damage. Yeah, that's zero. Okay. All right, that wyvern flies away. In Kara, roll oh, your recharge. God. Okay. I'm not doing anything. Should I just change back into myself and start shooting at it? Ooh. This is terrible. <laughs> Don't recharge this time. Oh. You could always like move forwards a little bit, Ankara, and then hold action to bite him when he's like within melee range of someone else, because he does have to get like within melee range of people. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Oh, I'm so frustrated. Actually, I should have been using this guy smarter. But now I know for next time you fight a wyvern that he has better, cooler things he can do. Wonderful. All Wonderful. right, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. I'll hold action until he's within, within range to bite. Cool. Are you just like squeezing next to Armros? Yeah. Yeah. Armros, what do you do? Oh, you're muted, Jeff. Sorry. Dude, I said so much funny shit too. I was wondering why no one's reacting. I will hold action attack for when it's in melee range then. Nice. All right. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Sarek. Steven. Yeah. I would like to climb even. on the back of this giant spider. <laughs> yes. Stand prominently on Ankara and fire yep. once again. Into yes. infamy. Yes. Get it. Do I need to do anything to get on the back of this spider? Nah, this is an, an a friendly spider who is trying to assist. No, I you help you up there. Back. Yeah. There's like one spider, like one pedipalp is like pushing you upwards. Look at that. Nailed him. Roll it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You're so oh. extra. Ba -da -da -ba 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 
Sarek, the wyvern screeches in air as it swoops, making a banking turn coming back in your direction as you boost yourself back up on the back of the spider Kara. You draw your short bow back. Short bow? Long bow? Short bow. Short bow. You draw your short and bow I hold, back. I hold my loose. middle finger out while I do it. Just like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. You let loose one single arrow, which flies towards the wyvern, disappearing in the uh, confusion of the beast's massive bulk. And then the wyvern, you just see it do a flip in the air, and then you feel a shuddering thud as it crashes into the side of the barbican and collapses onto the wall below. Dead. I like <laughs> I like pat the spider on the back, I'm like, we make a great team, and sort of like I'm, slide off. I'm just glad I did anything to help in this fight, because I made a rope and then you stood on me and that <laughs> I, I, I can't wait to see what you transform into next time that I can stand on. <laughs> Just sort of slide off of you. You hear from off to your left a burp. I'm oh, sorry, a, a burp? A yeah, burp. our little raven. We never got about him. Also, we're supposed to get a body here, right? Yeah. It's and in then, the nest. It's in the nest. And yeah. then this yellow raven hops up onto the wall right here. And then it looks back at you, Sarek, and it says, Nope. Uh, what, what do you do? Uh, is this the same one from Aya's bag? Yeah, it, it crawled out of Aya's bag. Mm -hmm. It's still it's, very fat. It's, it's still, yeah. Gold filled belly. I run over to it and grab it. Okay, give me, uh, give me some kind of roll. Let's see. <laughs> What can it be? Um, Dexterity sounds great. I feel like that's a sleight of hand roll. Sleight mm -hmm. of hand? Sleight of hand. Ooh. So, Sarek, you go reaching out for this bird, and you grab it, and then it, like, slips out of your hand, and then you play, like, hot potato for a second, where this bird is, like, flapping and bouncing between your two hands, and then it just falls plummets over the side. Did you just kill the bird? Did it die? Sark, it did like, not die. It was like flapping on its way oh down, but it, it fell fairly quickly. Sark, you hear, like, like, looks little... back at everyone and is like, it's still good. You hear a jingly gold plop as it hits the oh wall. Oh my god. We have to go down there and get it. We have to go down there and get it. Okay, you go down there and get it. I need to get this body. I is dead. I'm dead. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm talking to Aya. You, Aya, you go down there and get it. I'm going to get this body. I was talking out of character. Yeah. Like we have to go down there and get it before it flops away. Take like a short rest real well, quick. I guess it'll like run away. Yeah, if you take a short rest, that thing is gone. Okay, I, what, I will just climb down there and grab it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And Kara should go get it, and Armos and I will go get the body. And Kara, roll a recharge for your web. Why is this raven such a <laughs> little dick? Uh, I a roll of death saving throw right? for me, please. Okay, that's one success. Not too bad. Actually, I can probably do this. Oh, this is clever. One success. Look at that. All right, giant spider car, you're chasing after this raven. Well, Sarek, are you going to go down and get it? You said you would go get it, right? Oh, uh, or me. Are I you guys going to go get the body or the bird? I was gonna go get help Armos get the body, but I guess Armos can okay. be the body himself because Armos is like buff and so I'll, if you let me ride on you down, okay. then I, I just, will help you get bird it. Hates me when I'm a spider. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> the bird doesn't like me. The bird's a dick. Right. This is a dick bird. Yeah, you know what? Get on my back. Let's go get this. Let's little go get this bird. little ass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It'll like us. It'll learn to love us. <laughs> I don't think it's it'll love. Just its respect. Let's do this. All right. So yeah, we're gonna climb down. Awesome. So you're. You're like riding this spider down as this bird goes running away from you. You dash over sort of within range of it. Um, a giant spider, Kara, would you make some sort of a roll? Let me, let me look at your stats here. Um, give me a strength roll, spider, Kara. Ooh. Why is everything so bad? Ooh. I'm on the worst day. Raven. Yeah, this raven, let's see. Oh my God, what, what has happened? No, please no. Please don't 
Please don't do the thing Oh, that's a shame. I guess it'll just have to be Oz. We've been twenty is being this mean. bird this entire episode, and it is like full of coins, and we still like can't get bird it. Sucks. Oh yeah, Fire no, this, this bird. So this is y'all are like chasing it along the wall top, and it's just like flying from crenellation to crenellation as you're leaping after it. Uh, Sarek, give me a give me a uh, give me an athletics check. Oh, cool. oh, this is my time. Nope, never mind. <laughs> I'm yeah, just in the it, back, it, like. <laughs> It's so fast! It's so fast! Why is it so fast? <laughs> you grab it by the tail feathers and you like feel it flapping in your arms and then like it just like plops out of your grasp. It says, no, no, stranger. And then it, it flops away and just like you hear like a jangle of coins as it slams into a crenellation that bounces off and then goes flying somewhere else. What? Oh Armor is gone now? No, no, no. It's it's oh. not just gone. We're still y'all, y'all are still yeah. chasing it, and you're okay. running like along the the wall top here. But you're starting to run like you're you're kind of like next to the hole that you found it down in. Armoros, are you just grabbing this body? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Just like fireman carry. Yep. I uh, my shoulder. Could you roll a death saving throw for me, please. We left your ass. I know. I was like, you guys just left me here to die. I'm coming back for you. Ah! Oh shit. Yeah, I don't have Two to. Two in one Help session. Yourself. Help Isn't yourself. It? My rolls are terrible, but I'm really happy about these death saves today. <laughs> right. Two in one session. The first two natural 20s in the deadliest campaign I've ever known about. <laughs> well done. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, uh, Britt, give me an athletics check. Uh, which is a, a strength. A strength. Okay. Because you're like chasing after this spider. Yeah, or not the spider, but the, but the thing. And then it's going to try to dodge. Okay. So, and Kara, roll uh, to recover your web. Right. Hey. Nice. You got it back. Do you want to use your web to capture this? Yes. Raven again. All right. You you shoot out strands of web. Oh my, my god! So Wait. I'm not going to make you roll okay. an attack. Okay. For this. Oh god, because she crit failed. <laughs> because like the, what what we're doing here is like a chase, so it's like yeah. your athletics versus the raven's. Death okay. State. Okay. So like, Great. Great. Narratively, in the circuit of the chase, chase, you're like leaping forwards and spraying web, and you just like okay. plaster this raven to the wall top, next to the next to the you know the hole. It feels you... so bad. <laughs> and it's just like flopping there. It's like so. Oh, and then it like spits up another gold coin. There's like five or six along the wall tops behind you. I stop and pick up every single one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you get six, six coins back. Thank you. Can I walk over to it and just t like gently with one of my spider legs, just like pet it to calm it down and be like, hey, yeah, it, it's okay. It looks at your terrifying spider okay. legs. Like, no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> That's, poor bird. I can just see that scene. It's so bad. It's Traumatized. Like, how I treat animals. Such a bastard, but it's still cute. It's so bad. And Car is like in her own voice, like it's okay. And it cuts to the, to the raven. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's cool. yeah. Uh, for killing the wyvern, y'all have earned five gold pieces. So uh, each of you may take one, and one of you may take two. I'll take two so I can have two gold pieces. Nice. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> cool. Okay, Armoros, you've got the dead body of this this knight of Astathon from the top of the thing. Y'all have retrieved the yellow raven. What do the four of you do now? Uh, head back to camp, I think is the plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. The barricade camp? Yes. Yeah. Anyone need Turn. a short rest? I, uh, I think we should go back to camp first because okay. yeah yeah let's just get just back there get then. full health right yeah okay cool, cool. let's go let's so for fighting that cost us ten minutes plunk nice okay cool um so y'all head back to the barricade camp uh. I hate to ask this, but Ankara, do you remain as a terrifying giant spider all the way back to camp? Yeah. 
Uh, probably. I, I don't see why. Like, wouldn't unless me. well, unless it's going to upset more people. Uh, I mean, you've seen the general reaction. Yeah, uh, so, like, right before we get close for anyone to see me, I'll change back into myself. So, like, at the top of the wall where your spider yeah. webs are left behind, you turn back into a car. Yeah. Crawl down. And I'm still petting the bird. <laughs> it says, what? spider, demon, demon, spider. I'm not a demon. Demon. I'm a druid. Demon. I like, <laughs> okay. I'll <laughs> <laughs> get there. Okay. I'll get there. Demon. Oh, no. <laughs> that is a little back. <laughs> yeah, cool. Okay, you, you get back to the barricade camp and, um, where, what do you do now? Uh, go to the the two guys from uh, Face Off, Caster and Pollux. <laughs> <laughs> so brothers. in the middle of the camp, there's like this um, this yeah. tent, right? This this you know camp tent, and Caster and Pollux <laughs> are standing outside of it on guard. So let's see. Yeah, 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 there we go. So they are um. They're, the Knights of Aspahan third class, they're, they're wearing sorrow-filled bronze cherub masks and have a pair of white scimitars strapped to their, their belts. They're wearing white leather armor with gold studs. Um, and they turn to you um, and they say, do you have, yeah, no one finishes, an appointment? We, we brought you your friend as requested. It has been quite some time. Let us verify the identity of the body. I mean, it hasn't been that long. It has been five days since last we asked you to recover her body. But thank you for your assistance. Yes, if you if you could have gotten it, it was we killed a wife and it was terrible. If, we saw some of the battle on the rooftop. The wyvern was quite a terrifying threat to behold. It's easy to understand how she fell to its sting. Yeah, cool. So there's the body. <laughs> there's just Armros in the back, just standing with it, like draped over his shoulder. You like, do you bring it forwards and present it? Like, how are you managing this situation of like presenting the fallen body of a lost comrade to these two soldiers? I feel like we're not the type of group that would handle that with tact and grace. I don't know. Almost <laughs> maybe like I present it to you, like very gracefully. I don't know what's going on <laughs> that weird head. <laughs> sure. So like you want to like uh, roll some sort of like courtesy or whatever, right? Sure, sure. Jeff can roll that. Roll for courtesy, Jeff. Roll for courtesy? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what that means. What does that mean? So I, I actually think that this is like a performance check. Oh, great. He's got lo yeah. loads of charisma. We'll be fine. It's true. You want me to do it? Yeah, well, like one of you has to present this to them, right? It has to be like... Yo, your friend is dead. We got her body, but in a way that they're going to respond. Who has well. the most charisma? Who's who's going to do it? I only have two. I should probably do it. I have yeah. zero. I think I I'm the most charismatic. Trained in performance. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I can probably do it. Sure, okay. I'll do it. Yeah, <laughs> sure. So I'll uh, step forward and with flourishing hands. Be like, we present to you, may she rest in peace, gotta keep her soul, the body of the brave, the elegant, the, what was her name? I don't know. What? I don't know. Your friend, just say your friend. The, uh, the honorable knight of Astafan. Uh, much better. Hmm. Yeah. And I'm going to pretend to cry here. Such was her bravery. Very touched are we. I myself almost fell prey to the wyvern sting. What a brave soul. Oh, truly one to be admired. 
Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like I had a name for her, but I'm totally not. Finding there it. was because they told it to us initially, but I don't remember it. Yeah. Same. And I don't have it written down. Uh, who are you people? What's up with this information about that? Um, <laughs> Right. No, I don't have I don't have it written down like anywhere. So okay. uh, I'm I'm going to say that I'm going to decree that her name is now um, Indel. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and please yeah. roll your performance test. You can do this. You're like performing grief and performing compassion. Yo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So they they grow quiet. And um, they, you know, they pause and, and they, they look back at your face and they say, thank you, kind friend. Soldiering is a hard life. It is sad to see one with such promise cut down so young. Fair Indel, you were a great soldier. Yeah, and they, they probably like pull out coppers and like place them over her eyes. You know, place her hands on her, you know, uh, on her diaphragm, something like that. They say we Did will. Did I notice her armor is missing at all? That's why they sent us. That's why they made us go back to get her. Is because they noticed that I stole her armor and I'm wearing it. Yeah. Okay. Totally. Yeah, they, you know, they they pause and it's just like a moment passive. And I think I'm gonna actually I'm going to advance the clock because this is you know a sensitive thing and you take some time. Uh, oh, minus fourteen. Not, not right. Stop. There we go. Minus one. Excellent. Yeah. So some time passes and you, you know, say your piece, you know, maybe Aya coaches those of you who are a little less gracious in how to make sure that this situation doesn't go awkward, but it, it goes well. You manage to acquit yourselves well in handling this situation. And mm -hmm. finally, like, you know, you're all saying your piece and, uh, you know, making pleasantries. And finally the conversation comes to like a lull where you sense the four of you that you might be able to broach a new topic. Um, what was the name of the captain of the guard? Uh, or the, the, at least the one that we spoke to, what was her name? Marwin? In, um, in the temple to Coronet. Marwin. Moraine. Right. Yeah. Uh, should we broach that with them? Because we're supposed to kill these dudes. Right. Do we should decide we... on whether or not we should kill them? We decided to come and talk to them to figure out whether we should kill but, them or yeah, not. Yeah, but after we brought them the bodies. So just in case we have to kill them, we can complete one right. quest. Okay. Okay. I should probably handle this because I can read minds and tell if they're lying or not. Sure. Go nuts. So the they opened the gate during which event? I had it written down, but I've forgotten. Well, it was during the war. During the war, and but the, like she had a name for that, and was called like the betrayal of like because didn't they open the gate and let in? Yeah, I don't remember specifically actually. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um. So as we're like all sitting around and like you know we conversations already turned to other things all kind of like, you know, look them back and forth and, and just kind of be like, so did you two serve during the war? Yeah, they, they look at each other. They look at you. They, they gesture to their equipment. They say, yes, we were loyal Knights of Asaphon. We have been separated from our command. Ah, oh. wow. Heard this strange tale that during the war, someone betrayed the Knights of Asaphon. Did you hear anything about that? Pretty gruesome yeah, they, story. And this is when I'm going to start like trying to read their minds. Okay, cool. So you just cast um, cast mind reading? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's uh, here. I'll post it because I'm not actually sure if I can cast it on more than one person. So, so you can cast it and then like one. direct your your uh, 
like you can direct your focus to any creatures within 30 feet. Okay. On any, yeah. any one creature at a time, but you can like shift your focus around. Between. Yeah. So I'll just shift to whichever one's talking since they switch back and forth so rapidly. But I'm going to like cast this like as they're like as I asked that question. Yeah, totally. Um, just like immediately you, you, you learn um, like whoever you're focusing on, Caster or, or maybe Pollux. Maybe Caster. You're not. You're not entirely sure which one is which. Actually, yeah. Um, Caster, or Pollux, Collux, or Pastor. They're they're thinking like, um, has she heard about the betrayal? What does she know? Um, and you know, he responds to you. He says, "Yes, it was a hard time for everyone." I wonder if the man was ever caught, whatever became of him. Uh, I think like the other one, Castor or Pollux, speaks up and says, it seems as though you lot have thrown in your service with the Knights of Astaphon. What do you believe should be done with this man? Well. He's gesturing to Armoros, in fact, who is, you know, wearing the bronze pair of mask. And to, um, uh, uh, you're not wearing the white studded leather armor, are you, uh, Sarek? Um, oh no, you're wearing the white studded no, leather but, armor, but not the cherub mask. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't have a cherub mask. I have, I'm, I have the armor, and then over it is the weird ass cloak, and then my right, the patrician. Yeah, my patrician crown. Yeah. I think you gesture as like, you know, you've got like a little bit of the white leather armor peeking out of the collar of the patrician's cloak. He says, it, it seems as though you've thrown in your lot with the Knights of Astaphon. How would you treat betrayers in our ranks? Um, What's he thinking at this point? Is he still like, what does she know? Yeah, he's a, he's a little bit concerned about what you know, but also there's like a, um, uh, uh, there's a, when he talks about you having signed in with the ranks of the Knights of Astaphon, mm -hmm. he's thinking um, something along the lines of these lot are in more danger than they understand. Huh. Okay. As he says that, like, what do you think should be done? Um, I'll respond with, well, it's not really like I'm judge, jury, and executioner. But we have been tasked by someone to find these betrayers. Yeah, they, they nod. They say, yes, um, this betrayer, I, I assume that uh, the commander, Moraine, wants to see him or her brought to justice. Yes, it's part of our task to track them down. I wish you well. But you haven't heard anything? Yeah, both of them just shake their heads solemnly. We know nothing. We've been here for some time. I peel his brain open like a banana peel and attempt to probe further. <laughs> 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 yeah, awesome. So let's see. The target must make a wisdom saving throw. If it fails, you get insight into its reasoning, its emotional state, and something that looms large in its mind. Mm -hmm. If it succeeds, its wisdom saving throw, the spell ends. So let's see, Knight of Astaphon, third class, wisdom saving throw versus your DC of 13. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker. You start pushing deeper into Castor or Pollux's mind and then you hit a wall and uh, there's just like a little bit of ice cream headache as you're bounced back out of his mm -hmm. brain. Ice cream headache, nice. He looks at you and he says, is something the matter? No, not at all. I thought we were simply sharing a moment. Indeed, we were. Um, so, like, you've still got, like, all of you here who are paying attention to this, you can all jump in, you can all use insight, you can all try to persuade, like... There's something fishy here, out of character. Like, is it just me, or are they acting what? fishy? Well, yeah, but the, I'm trying so, to figure out what our object... Like, we're, we're beating around the bush on this one, and I'm trying to figure out what we're trying to... We want them to admit it, that they were the people, or we... like. I what think is it's the up to you. That is completely... I'm not going to lie. Aya doesn't give a shit either way, 
But I think that was like your guys' I want moral that goddamn quandary. bow. I want that. Look, I'll kill these sons of bitches for that bow. I don't care. Right. And I think we were trying to figure out like, were they, what, did everything Moraine tell us, was it actually true? And if that case, it would lighten your load or burden a little bit knowing that you were killing betrayers as opposed to like, did she make all this up and is she manipulating us? I, Sorry, give me an insight check. I, I also don't care if she's manipulating us because like, I want that bow. Uh, and then I could just kill her too. Uh, insight, you said. Yeah, I'm very insightful. Yeah, so you're you're listening to this conversation. You're not able to read these guys' minds, but just from the conversation, you can tell they're lying. They're disguising the truth of the situation from you. You know, their their faces are fairly um, placid, even behind their masks. Like their eyes aren't giving much away, but you can see just like little like twitches of their eyelids or like flicks of the eyes like to each other as they exchange small glances and whatever. They're, they're actually like, they're, they're very calm. They're very professional. They're not telling the truth. It's obvious to you, Jesse, the reason they're lying is because they th already think that you are allied with the Knights of Astapon. They think that you like you're wearing the gear. Sure. They think you're signed on sure. and they're like, yeah, you know, that's a really bad thing. Well, see, the other part of this that I remember us talking about was we wanted to get some kind of good idea or a good reason to kill them because we need this base camp. And if we just murder these two people, like right. there's a good chance we can't come back here. And right. I, I remember that being like a huge discussion. So now at least we have some justification. Like we can say that they were betrayers or whatever, as opposed to like if we murder them and move on, like we can't come here anymore. And that would be a huge detriment to us. Yeah, can I – I want to jump into the conversation and mm -hmm. uh, just straight up be like, I don't care about the knights. I don't care about any of this. I just care about an amazing-looking bow. And they have asked us to do them a favor, and I would love to, but I need answers I need to know who we're looking for. I need to know if you know anything about this. Frankly, once we're done, I don't give a damn about the knights. And I want to just be like very honest with them that like I don't care about what they did or any of that. I just want this really cool bow. And if they have a really cool bow, that I'll just take it from them. Yeah. So you're saying I don't care about the knights of Astapon, but they've offered me this really cool bow. So like if you give me a lead. Or implicitly, if you give me a bow, yes, then we can forget this whole thing. And like, after I get the bow, I don't give a shit what happens. Like, that's yeah. sort of the angle you're going for. I mean, that's pretty much it. Is is I'm 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 actively trying to be like I'm not. We're not on any sides. We don't care about like y'all. We're here for something bigger than whatever happened. And like, we're not. Yeah. You know, I don't need to kill nobody. I don't have to. I literally just brought you your friend. Just to prove that I'm not like a dick, even though I'm totally a dick. Give me a perception check, Jesse. I perceive that they're going to just give me this shit. Yeah, you. As you're talking about, like, I don't really care about the Knights of Astaphon. You guys just promised me a nice bow, and like, you know, maybe, maybe we can work something out. Maybe, you know, maybe you know something that would be useful to me. I don't know. Really, I'm, I don't, I'm not. I don't care about one side or the other side. You know, you're trying to like schmooze. Yeah. Um, you see the dwarf under the the like lean to wagon overturned next to the the sunfire brazier with the long gray beard. You see her like sort of narrow her eyes and shake her head in sorrow as she listens in, you know, from a little bit of a distance, listens to you saying this. Castor and Pollux, meanwhile, they they look at each other and they say, If it's riches you want, then the Knights of Astaphon will serve you well. Uh, we don't I, know anything. Best of luck. Uh, yeah, Can no. I read the other one's mind now? <laughs> yeah, when you, they're you've saying got this, a second spell, so you can cast yeah, it. Yeah, I can only do it one more time. Um, mm -hmm. But, like, before I probe deeper, can I just, like, because I don't want to, I don't want the spell effect to end yet. As, yeah. like, they answer the second question, can I attempt to, like, read like, the I know, surface thought. Yeah, because I know one per one of them is like aware, so I can't really do it again. But can I do it on the other one and try to yeah. like with this new line of questioning 
see if they're interested in buying us off or whatever. Yeah, totally. So you cast the spell silently. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess probably it, it actually has a verbal component. So you just mutter it under your breath, disguised with a sneeze. And um, you're listening to the surface thoughts of this other person. And like his outward affect is very calm and very um, like neutral. He doesn't care about what you're saying. And inside he's, he's actually very angry. He's angry that you seem to care primarily about like value, right? Like what you want is this bow. He's like a bow, fa. Yes, if that's what they want, the Knights of Astaphon will give it to them and gladly, but how cheaply are they bought? That's that's like the, the surface mm. thoughts in your mind. Okay. So as they say this, like, as they say like, oh, if the, you know, if you want riches, the Knights of Astaphon will serve you well. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to change their like like what they're thinking about a little bit and be like, um, how have you found serving in the Knights of Astaphon to be? Do you find them to be an honorable lot? Do you find their goals noble? Yeah, so like you're trying to like get them to give you information about the Knights of Astaphon, mm -hmm. but like right now, they just don't trust you. They're just gonna keep lying. Ah, okay. Right? So like th they respond and they're like, the Knights of Astaphon has served us well in our time. And like, um, like the, the surface thoughts of this person are probably like, if she loves the Knights of Astaphon so much, why is she here? Like that's that's sort of, he's sort of like, what, yeah. what are you doing here if you want to hang out with the Knights? Like yeah. I'm tired of this conversation. Yeah. And as they yeah. say that, like, oh, they, are, they've served us well with our time. I'll be like, then why did you open the gate? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're insightful. Uh, mm -hmm. Give me an insight roll, Aya. Oh, you're not insightful, are you? You're terrible at this. No, also. not wise. Yeah, like, I think it's fair. It's like, why did you open the gate? And um, I think they look at each other and they say, do you have business with Rael? With who? They gestured at the tent behind them. Rael, the leader of the camp. No, just with you. I believe we have said everything that there is to say yo i want to like get up on them and like yeah. uh yeah sark just like gets in their faces and points to his armor and mm -hmm. is just like do you think i like wearing these colors and just like literally uh i guess he sort of like pulls out some of his uh undershirt that mm -hmm. is from uh his hometown which is Ur, which is a major rival of this kingdom. And he is yeah. not at all happy to be even remotely wearing this. He yeah. is, he, they, are, they are natural enemies. He's super pissed to even be involved with all this. And yeah. he's just like, do you think I like doing this? Oh, yeah, I'm up on them. Cool, cool. Good. Give me a persuasion roll. Nice. Yeah, their, their eyes widen. As they see the you know livery of Ur on your your undershirt, right? And they look at your undershirt. They look at your clothing. They look back to your face, and they say, "We are sorry. You should have told us earlier. Why is it that you serve the knights? I don't serve the knights. None of us serve the knights. And yet you wear their." Their gear. We just fought a goddamn wyvern, you idiots! <laughs> I'll wear anything to stay alive. I've been killed. What? Have you ever had a slime in you? Have you ever had a slime in you? <laughs> they, they sort of blanch and they say, that sounds unpleasant. It's very unpleasant. And then they say, let me think, how do I put this? They say, get the hell out. We don't care. The end. world ends. No, you've, you've made an impression. Like, uh, they, they realize now that you're not uh, what you have been presenting yourselves as, which is, like, allied with the Knights of Astaphon. And they're sort of, like, catching up to the situation. And they say, 
it's clear there's a longer conversation we should have. Please, why don't you step inside the tent? And then one of them like pulls the flap open and inside you can see Rael sort of like, you know, her head in her hands looking at the map. You know, like she sort of glances up and, and then beckons you in. And I think that's probably where we're gonna have to end it for today because we're running short on time. But when we start the next episode, you're gonna be able to start having a slightly more productive conversation with cool. these gentlemen. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh, didn't mean to do that. I say we don't kill anybody. Just get them to give us some token or something. That's the plan. That's my plan. Yeah. That's my plan. And then here's the thing. We go back and we're like, oh, we killed those guys. I get laid and a bow. Winner! I'm betting, I'm betting there's a reason they betrayed them. Yeah, because they're probably I'm awful. not lying myself with anybody. I'm lying myself with my raven and that's it. <laughs> yeah, no, of course not. We're going to kill Big everyone. Bird and me, that's it. Nobody else. <laughs> I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna kill that priest, and I'm gonna take over his. Cl I'm gonna take over all of his people. Oh my Please, god! Please. I can't wait. I'll be like, Lord, go out and <laughs> go out and clear those ravens. Those ravens, they're out there, Lord. You got to clear them. You got to clear those ravens. And they'll be like, All right, sure. And it'll happen. Amazing. I'll dab my head a little bit. And be like, Oh, the spirit's so good at me. that. That's like. <laughs> I, I've always said I'd be a great, like, Southern Baptist preacher. Revival that, preacher. Yeah, if this is all done, that's where I'm going. I'm headed to the deep <laughs> south, and I'm just... <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you. Yeah, that's my plan. And so, yeah, that, that I've been thinking about that the entire time. I was like, how are we going to clear those damn... Like, all those birds with all those gems, how do we clear it? People power. That's how... <laughs> while they're getting attacked, we get in there and get all that shit. I've been thinking about this for a while. We're, we're doing this. This is my plan. He's got the plan. This we're going to send an con. army of peasants after the raven yes. swarm. Yes. They're all going to be like oh, Alfred Hitchcock's the birds all over. They're going to be right. like getting their eyeballs. <laughs> and while that happens, we sneak our asses right on in and take everything. <laughs> we're like, keep going, my, my faithful. And then we just <laughs> peace out. <laughs> the world's ending. What the hell do they care? It'll be fine. <laughs> great plan all right well that's it for us uh let's go around this screen here and see what's going on with people this week uh brit what's going on with you uh not much just working this was nice i enjoyed today and uh thanks for watching and i hope everyone has a good weekend and we'll see you next week and it's obviously still me i'm sorry i'm sick so i'm <laughs> at 50 percent today but I think I did it. I outroed myself. So there you go. I think I did it. Jeff, what's going on with you, dude? Uh, great show. This weekend, I'm going to be in Burbank casting WCS a StarCraft events. Other than that, uh, and then next week, I'm casting Adepticon. Actually, I have to check on my flight. I might not be able to be on next week, so I'll let you know as soon as possible. Um, other than that, streaming. Thanks for having me. Bye bye. Uh, Bronze, what's up with you? Hi, hello. I'm doing the usual streaming early in the morning, like I always do. Um, also, I'm going to be at WonderCon at the end of the month, so for a relics and rarities panel. So if you're a fan of that show or whatever, and you want to come and hang out with me in the cast, I will be there. One day special only. Yes, sir, do the thing. There it is. Come so say spicy. hello. <laughs> <laughs> I think the more uh, the more uncomfortable she gets, the more uh, like <laughs> thick Indian accent starts coming out. Like... <laughs> Steven, what's going on with you? What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Steven, coming to you live from sunny Amsterdam. Uh, thank you for watching today. Make sure you uh, <laughs> clock that block, uh, stick that click, and uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh. Um, thunk that bunk down below <laughs> so that you can be updated on all of the fancy things that we're doing here on uh, your universal one-stop shop for the Sunfall Cycle. You can follow me online at Son of the Stars. <laughs> that was zero. For more of that. For classic. more of exactly this. <laughs> so
So, boo, 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 boo. thank you for watching, and I'm going to see you next week for more amazing Sunfall action. Uh, all right. Well, that is uh, it for us. I'm going to – I can't think of a word that rhymes with follow. Uh, swallow? Like, yeah, that's a, it's, it's right there, Jesse. Swallow Come that, on, low-hanging swallow, swallow that fo for follow swallow. is a level of follow for follow that never existed before. Yeah. Follow for follow is great, but swallow for follow? <laughs> what about uh, – I don't know. Mar marshmallow. <laughs> marshmallow. Marshmallow for follow. That's terrible. All right. Well, that's it for us. We'll see you guys next time. That's so bad. Uh, bye, everybody. Have a good one. You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots. We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Out of that time of video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Oh, thank God. I don't need pants now. Hey, JC. What are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a production of broadcast. Yeah, now sing the music. It's a production of broadcast. Bring the strippers and boots. It's a production of broadcast. Now here's to ask and answer one simple question. It's a production of broadcast. You got.